status mo nani mo tenzen yome nai. Well, he tells that we're all animated. He's clearly in CG. I don't know what that means. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Theta, this is Justin, and we are here with episode 5 of Fate Zero. How about you go ahead and recap us on what happened the last time? The last time was a whole bunch of fighting between Saber and Lancer. We got the reveal of who was who. Um, Lancer is somebody from Irish mythology? Yep. Okay. Yes. Um, we also had um, Alexander watching the, the fight. It was revealed that uh, the quote-unquote ultimate weapons of Lancer, one uh, nullified mana. And the other one inflicts wounds that cannot be healed. We do not know what the deal is with Excalibur yet. Um, then Alexander jumped in when the fight was close to then, being like, "Hey guys, stop fighting. We don't have enough people here." Also, I'm I, I, I'm I'm a king. Look at me. I mean, you also, Hiratsugu is there. Uh, Maya yeah. is there. I believe the implication is Kaneth is there. One of the assassins is there. Yes, there's a lot of people there, and that's who we know who's watching. I Correct. think we also, ha based off the episode title, can imply that dude with the bugs is there. The episode title. It mentioned Beast. You mean this episode title or last episode yes, title? Yes, this episode title. So you think the guy with the bugs is here because the episode mentions beasts? Yes, and I, we're and I expect to get the reveal of the last servant. I'm sorry, I'm still hung up. Are you saying that you think bugs are beasts? No, not at all. But you just said you think the bug guy is here because yes, the episode title has the name Beasts in it. Berserker is the one thing we have not seen. Beast was closest to Berserker in explanation, and he, he is the one get the, the the one reveal left. Okay, I think you just like skipped a step in logic. Is all you're saying? You think the, it's possible. you think Berserker is going to be here? Because the title of the episode has Beast in it, and you think the bug guy is in control of Berserker. Yep. Yeah, you didn't include that last step. <laughs> you just said, I think bug guy's gonna be here. Episode of that has Beasts. And I'm thinking, okay. man, any riddle I ever throw at this guy, I better include the fact that Beasts and Bugs are the same thing. <laughs> but yes, no, so that's where I think we're headed. All right. Anything else to add before uh, we get into it? No. All right. Well, without further ado, then let's just go ahead and jump on in. Let's do it. But before we get started, make sure that you hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all of that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month, but hey, no pressure. There's zero pressure in order to do that. It's just a little bit of extra support, and it would be greatly appreciated. This must be a thing for all the other ones to see him like keep hitting his own master. Yeah. さすれば弱き様らを包囲として愚し世界を制する海越を共に分かち合う所存でおる Okay, 
断じて貴様ではないぞライダーそもそもそんなザレ事を述べ立てるために貴様は私とランサーの勝負を邪魔立てしたというのか、like, しかし許しして許しがたい侮辱だ待遇は王相談だがくどい<笑>重ねて言うなよ私も一人の王としてブリテン国を預かるのだいかな大王といえども進化に下るわけにはいかぬほうブリテンの王となこりゃ驚いた何しよう騎士王がこんな小娘だったとは<笑>その小娘の人たちを浴びてみるか制服を A number of people who are claiming to be kings is going to be. Yeah. He's like, the stress. You're going to give me a heart attack. Because he just wants to win. He wants this guy to fight. This guy is not fighting. <laughs> And dragging him through everything. Yep. See, that's the pairing that I think is most needed, though. Because he needs to actually live life, and he's like, let's go. Well, I don't know. Remember, you remember what he was doing in the first episode? Um, he, he was uh, in school, correct? After that. No. He's hypnotizing two old people into thinking he's their grandson so he can live in their house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the creepy thing. Yeah. Well, I guess it makes more sense now you think that he's from England. So he, this is just how he's staying in Japan. Yeah. So, I mean, technically he is kind of living life. You don't just get into a position like that without living life a little bit. A little bit, but like he's clearly shady, and this is him being out in the open. Also, he's on varsity, remember? Yeah, you know, yeah. So making fun of Alexander the Great. Now you call Alexander the Great an idiot, and now characters calling Alexander the Great an idiot. Kane is realizing that Waver stole his relic. <gasps> に <laughs> 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 この坊主になり変わって世のマスターとなる腹だったらしいな。だとしたら肩腹痛いの。世のマスターたるべき男は、世と共に戦場を馳せる勇者でなければならない。Yep. 姿を晒す度胸さえない臆病者な。役者不足も甚だしいぞ。<笑><笑>アキナマジンのウォールドウォーカインのゲッツパンチとフォールドウォーカインバイアレクサンダーやっとのマコキテノキソヤイマコトニミゴトヤタアレホドセチョウナキングキヨヒビカセテワヒカレテデテキタエレガヨモヤヨヒトリトヨコトアルマイテセハイニマネカレシエレワイマココニツドウガイなおも顔見せを落ちるような臆病者は制服をイスカンダルの無別を免れる者と知れこれははいまずいなまずいですね I think it 
I think uh, Iskander is gonna hit like a truck. やろ、ケイ。ノー、ウェアナッツ。様も大樽者ならば、まさかおのれの異名を浜かりはしない。問いを投げるか。雑種風情が。大樽この俺に向けて。我が廃越の絵によく捨てなお。この綿棒を見知
そこな雑誌よもはや肉片一つも残さぬぞ Now he's real mad. ギルガメッシュは本気ですさらにゲートオブバビロンを解き放つ気でいます必殺ホーグを繰り返し注目にさらすとはなんと軽率な。いや、しよご決断を。レイジを持って立てまつる。英雄王よ、怒りを沈め撤退を。貴様ごときの還元で。Remember, they only get a limited number of command spells. Yeah. Also, just said your master's name out loud. アイリスフィール、下がって。Right after Saber。そういうことか。And not even use it. Using their own weaponry. No, he is. Sweet explaining. Yeah. Can't two hand hold the sword? Wrist's been cut. Yeah. Oh, what if that was on a table? That's why anything, remember? Or break mana, whatever. Yeah, Conor to Saint Yakunatina. Gorejo, Tsumaran Chacha will eat it to Morinara. What it to the Damatu or Ram. Nansa Nanio Sailanta. セイバーは必ずやこのディルムとオディナナ、ホコリにかけて打ち果たします。なんとなれば、そこな強権メモ、先に仕留めてご覧に入れましょう。ゆえにどうか、我が主よ。レイジをもって命じる。主よ。バーサーカーを援護して、セイバー。That's messed up. Is it? I mean, it makes sense. You don't want your summon to get killed protecting somebody else's summon. True. And you have the opportunity to destroy somebody else's summon. Well, tactically, a, 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 an epic 2v2. I mean, tactically, it makes a lot of sense. Honorably, it makes, you know, it's horrible. Yeah, this literally Lancer was trying to defend Saber, and now is forced. ランサーのマスターをやる。状況を打破できる手段は他にない。まあ、いいや。僕のカウントに合わせてアサシンを攻撃しよう。制圧射撃だ。了解。六。五。Here we go。三。
Does he literally by running around the battlefield on a chariot? That is ridiculous. Oh, トマ、こんな具合に黒いのにはご退場願ったわけだが、ランサーのマスターよ。どこから覗き見しておるかは知らんが、ゲスな手口で騎士の戦いを汚すでない。ランサーを引かせよ。なお、これ以上そいつに
我こそは紛れもなく我が運命の乙女にほかならぬ<笑>知り合い意外もかつて神にすら見捨てられ屈辱のうちに滅んでいった彼女が今ついに復活を遂げたこれがこれほどの奇跡が我が願望の上手でなくしてなんだというのか What? Is it the dot? Is it the girl? Like the little girl? Oh! Nope, save her. What? Now, is how the bad beast cast her or is a berserker? Yeah. So, that makes me think that caster is a figure historically antagonistic to Joan of Arc. And they're using the me. The mirror of the idea of girl feigning being male to, to fight. And they're using that to connect Caster and Saber. I mean, obviously, maybe I know, maybe I don't know. I'm giving you that. I can't say anything. It's true. I mean, I also already indicated that we had to look up who that guy was, historically, so... Yeah. And, Again, it's, and since it's they're still, still connecting me to, like, Hunchback of Notre Dame era sort of, like, physical, um... I don't want to say mutilation, but, like, anomaly. Well, it's the fact that they're still hiding his name without not, like, reading out who he is, like I did with Lancer. Because Lancer said his yeah. name, we just didn't know who that was. Weird line of come for you, oh holy virgin. Well, that's what he called But it connects to the end of the episode. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. That's what he was calling her in a ball thing. Well, thoughts? Ah, uh, I like it. Uh, as for a favorite. Give me your, uh, your top two. What's, top two. What's your number one? What's your number two? Lancer and Berserker. Lancer is your number one? Yep. Alright, good deal. Good deal. I was worried that we were going to like say the same person. But you didn't. My guy didn't even go in your top two. So, we're good. Like I told you before, me and Griff had an overlap. I picked my guy, yep. and... Well, here's the thing is, you only picked... um, You only picked Servants. Griffin actually picked a master, so. Um. I don't find the masters that interesting. Well. Out of, out of the human characters, the one I find most interesting is um the girl who's acting as uh, Saber's master. Right, the one who's destined to die, according yes. to the intro. Um. Funny enough, I thought Berserker was going to be your number two. I guess I was just only wrong about your number one. And my worry was that my guy was going to be your number one, in which case I was like, no, he's already mine. <laughs> so, Who's your number one? Oh, Iskander. Alexander the Great. How could I not? Um, I appreciate him, but nah. My problem is we line up so often on these things about who, we, who we're following yes. that I just assume that well, obviously, he's the best character in the goddamn show. <laughs> so, that I thought you were going to go that way. But then I thought, well, maybe he's going to go Berserker, because Berserker is just fucking badass. So, the reason why I like Berserker is because of the Master. Even though, as you've already said, most of the Masters are not interesting. Correct. 
most of the masters to me are boring but the fact that his timeline is that limited well i mean let's say all characters are on the table special. are you choosing the his master or are you choosing lancer i'm choosing lancer because part of sorry i'm choosing lancer and and Berserker, followed by the guy who's dying. Okay, so Lancer's still The guy who's one. dying is interesting because of Berserker is expediting the process. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, you said you said you picked Lancer because of his master. Is that what you just said? No. No, no, no. Berserker because of his master. Okay, so Lancer's master's not even on the table. Eh, maybe that'll no. pick up later. Um, but still... It's funny you also picked a guy that neither of us really know anything about. I don't need to know more about him. Okay. Like, legitimately. So, the best the, the best way I can explain that, one of my favorite movie characters in one of my favorite movie franchises of all time is, like, the Silence of the Lambs Hannibal movies. And I love it when you know nothing about Hannibal Lecter other than the the base level information. Because your head goes to places without them even giving you information. I mean, fair enough. Uh, we've watched plenty of shows on here where the mystery is the thing. Actually, I realize I'm saying that now, and that's the discussion me and Lessons have when our watch through of Macross 7 at the moment. Where we're still trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. But, um, yeah, no, I'm glad to know that we don't have the, the same character. Um, I mean, I'm all about Alexander, so he is my favorite character in this show, hands down, no question. I don't even need a number two. I don't even consider a number two. <laughs> That's how if far Alexander, in. If Alexander was less noble, he might be up there for me. But, like, to me, he seems like a dude who's, who, who's too skilled for his own good. Too skilled? Dude just ran in. Like, his bulls did all the work. That, I know. It seems, like he, it seems like he's a kid with too much power, and he's just there having fun. Yeah, your argument so far has been, he's stupid. So... Yeah, I can't... I, it, it just doesn't match. He's also really the only uh, servant who's in control of his master. Whereas you just saw two uh, masters command spell their servants. You can you imagine Waver? Waver did it almost once, and he was like, oh shit, I better not do this. So, uh, that is, to me, that's the, what, that's the redeeming quality of Alexander. The For... fact that he is there and supporting his master as if he's the master. I mean, versus Lancer, who's already been command spelled into doing something he didn't want to do. So, funny enough, I think that's how Lancer's master loses in this war. I think he commands him too many times and then he tries, the last time when he actually needs it and he, tr and he tries to do it, it fails. Well, there are things in the next six episodes that may, well, I'm not may, that will make you see things in different lights. Um, I don't think you're going to change your opinion on Lancer. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm Yeah. If you like Lancer now, you're probably going to like Lancer up to the point that I've seen him. So, <laughs> um, Otherwise, I know my mind's not getting changed on Alexander or Iskander. Yeah. So, yeah, I know, I'm just happy that we didn't pick the same person. I was worried about that, but I thought... I, again, I thought you were going to go, like, Berserker or actually Gilgamesh. Uh... In a vacuum, if Alexander it... wasn't here, I know I probably would have gone Gilgamesh. But Alexander wins, hands down, every day for me. Gilgamesh... Gil... Gilgamesh is the guy who, who, who's already at the top, to me. I'm not... I. He doesn't have an arc, in my opinion. But you know how that saying is, people love an underdog? My, uh, my argument yeah. is people also like to win. So, you know, back a winner. 
But I don't think I don't I don't think Gilgamesh is the winner. I think he I think he's he's already at, sit, sit, sit like he's sitting too high up to see that he can be be taken down. I mean, obviously, I think we can all agree that most of us would think Saber is going to win this, right? Yes. I think that's the obvious in narrative being thrown at us in the earlier thing. It's just that... I think Saber, Saber or Xander. I don't think my guy's going to win. My, my guy has... My guy has sacrifice energy written all over him. I think my guy is going to die for waiver at some point, and that's going to be it for me. But uh, uh, my read is that Saber is the character who's been like, you know, ingratiating herself. Saber is the obvious win. But I think... I think the kill of Saber in an in, in a dishonorable way could lead to Gilgamesh not Gilgamesh, Alexander fighting whoever does it full force. There is a thing. Um, as you know, I think I've mentioned this before, this isn't the only Fate series. I think it's not even supposed yeah. to be the first Fate series, it's just the first uh, chronological Fate series. Mm -hmm. But they're all like this. They're all this thing, the Grail War. Yep. And I think that I've uh, heard before that some of these summons come back because I guess you can get killed multiple times, right? You're you're a summon of a historical figure. Technically, yeah, you've yeah. already died. Exactly. You're just he. he yeah. Uh, let's see. How many Fate series are there? Oh, the best way that I can explain it, and if this is a somebody, this is, I'm going to bring up something from OG Dragon Ball. A.K. You've had time, but spoiler warning, I suppose, from early, early OG Dragon Ball. You know when you have Kid Goku. Who is like, oh, are we gonna fight now? In the like the first real the first tournament arc? And he sees how fast the guy is and he's like, Oh, let me take off my training weights. Boom, when dust flies up, I think that's what we're seeing with Alexander. I'm sorry, you said that for I think we're Goku? seeing that, lo that oh, right. level. That's yes. right, he wears a vest. Sorry, most people in modern anime would say um, Rock Lee from Naruto. Yes. So you're, I know, you're familiar I'm, I'm with that. I'm aware that that, that okay. would be the better example for modern. Okay, I was... But I was... it's not the one that came to my head. Okay. But I think it's the idea where it's not so much that he has tr the equivalent of weights or anything. I think he's just having a good time right now. I think his default setting is like, yo, let's do this. Let's have fun. I think the reason he is so dangerous is when you actually cause him to get serious and he, like, gets off of his chariot, you're screwed. I don't know, though, because he's a writer, so... It's true. But I think when he actually fight, I don't think he's actually fighting. I think he's just going on a whim. I, was, I, I think when he actually fights, he is going to body people. I think he's going to body somebody. I think he, if there is anybody in the show who will get a one-shot elimination of a servant, it will be him. So, by the way, there are seven Fate uh, series from 2006 up to 2019. Get Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, which is that reference I made to you about that Paladin build. Uh, Fate, Khalid, Linear, Prisma, Ilya. Uh, Fate, uh, Apocrypha, 
Fate Extra Last Encore, and Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. That's a hell of a name. I'm curious who the most problematic hero in a Fate ser- uh, servant in a Fate series is. You know, I would love to Google that, but obviously <laughs> that would be spoilers. I'm tempted to do it, but well, I'm not going well, to. Well, the problem is is that uh, Fate is also a major video game series, and I think it's a video game more than it is an anime. Got it. Oh, I didn't know. Half that a dozen I didn't that, no. different video games. Well, here's this question. Do I have to play Fate games before watching the Fate anime? Although there are over half a dozen different Fate video games from which many of these anime series are adapted, you don't need to play them to enjoy the anime series. In fact, there are some differences from characterization and the flow of events between game and anime adaptations, like in Fate slash Extra Last Encore, for example. Which isn't a great example, because we don't fucking know it. What Fate series do I start watching first? That's up to you, but we recommend starting with Fate Zero. Which is where we're at. It provides a good jump-off point. Yeah, well, actually, I'll get that in a second. It provides a good jump-off point to get into and comprehend the lore of any other anime series released. Yeah, um, I guess the actual order of, the order of release versus chronological order, the order of release seems to be Fate Stay Night, 2006, uh, Fate Zero, 2011, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works in 2014, uh, Fate Khalid, uh, Fate Khalid, 2016, Fate Apocrypha, 2017, Fate Extra Last Encore, 2018, Fate Grand Order 2019. So there was like a, a Fate release like almost every year, every other year, and except for the last four, five years, five years. For the last five years, it hasn't been a Fate release, it looks like. Well, could, that makes sense because re- really, there's so much you can pull from with the groundwork laid. Oh, apparently Fate Stay Night is based on if you play the game in a very specific way. You know how, like... Well, yeah, I'm thinking, like, did you ever watch uh, Street Fighter movie, or... I guess the... I guess actually more like the Mortal Kombat movie. Mortal Kombat movies? Yes. Street Fighter, I have, but, like, only once. I, I guess it's based on that thing, right? Because who wins in the Mortal Kombat movie? Right, so it's yeah, it's based on if you played the game a certain way. So that makes sense. I'm gonna yes. stop reading this though because I'm getting the sense that if I kept it on, I'd get spoilers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, now we know who you back. You're backing Lancer. Yes. I th- at least um no, nah, I'm gonna say that it's spoiler. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything negative or, like, literally tell you something. I was just going to say something that was actually... Nah, I can't say anything. I'll let the next right. couple of recordings speak for themselves then. Anything else you want to add? No. No. All right, then. Well, with that said, I have been Theta. This has been Justin. We've been Stoneface Reactions, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?